All right, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna jump right to the chase. You know, I wasn't really anticipating making a video tonight, but I was laying down uh, reviewing messages on Facebook, and I've had a lot of people really have some pretty serious questions for me. Um, Self-image uh, is, is a pretty big topic. Uh, suicide, uh, self-harm, you know, cutting or burning or, you know, whatever it is. Um, so I, I, here I am. I have to make a video on it. Um, it's, it's a really deep, really um, controversial topic. Not something that I'm used to um, openly talking about to a lot of people. Um, people have a misunderstanding of um, you know, self-image, um, although people may put on a, a mask and portray that they're doing just fine and, you know, that they're this wonderful person and everything in their life is going great and God, I don't even really know. I, I can't really describe it. We've all been there. We've all experienced a moment where, you know, we were tormented or bullied or, um, you know, made fun of or looked down upon, and it's, it's detrimental to a person, um, and because of it, it leads to self-harm, to suicide, to drugs, to alcohol, to do so many things that will, will mess you up, um, I've been there, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I've been there before. Um, mostly during school, and these are probably things that a lot of my classmates don't know about, but, uh, well, I mean, I'm sure they know about it, uh, as far as, um, the, the skin deep level is, you know, being made fun of, or being the social outcast, um, so on and so forth, you know, that, that was me, I, I was that individual, um, and I suffered greatly, I, I suffered, um, you know, psychological damage because of it. I was put on antidepressants, um, I was suicidal, um, you know, those are, those are very real experiences in, in my own personal life that I can reflect on and relate to when people come to me with issues, you know. The most important thing as far as self-image goes is it doesn't really matter what other people think about you. Um, as you grow older, as you experience life, um, you'll come to, to realize that, you'll come to see that uh, it doesn't really matter what people think, what matters is what you think. Um, and I know, I know a lot of what you think about yourself is related to how other people view you. And again, that's something that you'll experience later on in life and you'll kind of grow out of. Um, people have a habit of displaying unique psychological traits such as um, putting other people down to make themselves feel better, you know. Uh, bullies in particular will do that. Um, you have to understand that just because they're making fun of you doesn't mean that they're not going through their own you know, problems as well, and doesn't make it right, but it makes it, um, you know, more understandable that they they have their own issues as well, um, and you can't let it affect you, you can't let that kind of behavior um, into your life. You have to weed out the good influences with the bad influences, and it's, it's hard at times, it really is. Um, as far as self-harm, you know, goes and, and suicide, um, You have to understand, in your life, there's going to be a lot of issues. There's going to be a lot of stress, especially as an adult. That's something that I can contest you personally. You don't realize how much stress there really is. Um, and you have to learn coping me mechanisms for them. Some people will turn to drugs, some people will turn to alcohol. And I, I have a lot of friends that, you know, they, they say that they do drugs or, you know, do alcohol, you know, 
do the alcohol, but it, whatever. Um, you know, because it helps them escape reality, it helps them escape their, you know, their shitty life or whatever it is, and, and that's bullshit. I'm telling you right now, that's bullshit. I have been there, and I have done that. I have experienced real traumatic incidents in my life, and I have overcome it, not with drugs and not with alcohol, through sheer determination, through guidance from close friends, from family members. I have been there. You don't need to turn to drugs. You don't need to turn to alcohol. You know, suicide is not an option. It's an end. That's as plain and simple. There is no, oh, well, things are pretty bad for me right now, so I'm just going to kill myself. No, it doesn't work that way. That is it. It is over. There is no coming back from that at all. You have to realize that it is a very real thing, and, and people don't get how serious it is and the consequences that it has. It, it's so selfish to do that because you do have friends and family out there that care about you. Whether you realize it or not, you do. You know, I can tell you right now, even me, I care about you. I do. I care about you as my fans. I, I care about you. I wouldn't be anything without you. I, that's plain and simple. So at the very least, you have me. And I know the majority of you have probably never even met me before. Uh, I actually ran into to somebody at Walmart that, that knew me. That was kind of cool. I watched some of my videos, but whatever. Um... I'm always going to be here. I'm not going to go anywhere. And the best advice I can give you is if you need something, whether it be a friend, whether it be an ear to listen, whether it be advice on any topic, I'm here for you. And I always will be. You can always message me on Facebook. I always have my phone with me, and I will always get in. I will always reply. That is my promise to you. No matter what time, day or night, message me on Facebook you can get my number for me if you want you can call, you can text you have me and I will help you through whatever you need because you're beautiful you know, whether you are white, black, Hispanic Asian, male or female you know, heavy set or anorexic, I don't care to me you are beautiful you are a beautiful individual with so much to offer, with so much potential with so much that you can give that right there is true beauty it doesn't matter if you are a Victoria's Secret model or if you are you know the social outcast at school it doesn't matter to me it, it shouldn't matter to anybody unfortunately it does unfortunately people are so materialistic and so skin deep on everything you know, you have to look this way, and you have to act this way, and dress this way, and it is not right. It really isn't. You shouldn't be like that. You, you, why can't you be an individual and be loved for who you are as that individual, as a unique person? I, I truly believe in the whole person characteristic trait. I don't take you for, for one aspect. I take you as a whole, what you have to offer. And you have so much to offer, and I promise you that. I really do. That is my promise to you. Others will or won't see it. I can't guarantee you, you know, one way or another, but I do see it. And to me, you are a perfect person. Truly, because on a sense of realism, no one is, is perfect. And thus, we're all perfect. I mean, you, you may not understand it, and I don't expect you to. Um, I can't expect you to understand my, my way of thinking. But if nobody is truly better than any other individual, then we are all perfect. Because there's nobody like us out there. We are a perfect individual. And individual means, you know, to be oneself, to to be single, to be that, and only that, and only have one of it. So you are perfect. You are, absolutely. And so I invite each and every one of you to contact me anytime, day or night, 
whether you are sad or depressed or angry or happy or just need somebody to talk to, contact me. Seriously, do it. I want you to. I expect you to. Because I want to talk to you. I want to know what's going on in your life. Genuinely, I want to know what's going on in your life. So go ahead, contact me. You know, stop listening to other people. Stop putting yourself down. Stop, you know, harming yourself. Stop feeling the way that you are because you are perfect as an individual, as a single kind, as one of a kind. You are perfect. There is nobody that is a better you than you are. I promise you that. <laughs> Anyways, I think this was a really great video. I really do, and I really appreciate to the people who reached out to me. Um, I'm not going to list their names. Those individuals know who they are, and I really appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I really, truly appreciate it because you have shown so much trust and, and so much gratitude to me. And honestly, I can't thank you enough for that. And, you know, through our conversations, it seems like you're doing a lot better now. Uh, all of you, actually, are doing a lot better now. And it really makes you know, me, on, on an emotional level, feel good because I was there. I experience that. I, I go through it, at, you know, on times where <laughs> where life is, is, is disappointing, is depressing. Um, and to reach out and be able to help other individuals because I've been through what you're going through, it's, it's an incredible feeling. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about it, to use me as an out rather than suicide or drugs or alcohol or cutting I really appreciate it so thank you truly thank you and, and I hope that my video reaches other individuals who are, are experiencing this as well I do believe that it will and unfortunately I believe that not very many of you will contact me um, and that's sad because you have so much to offer and I can help I really can um, you know, I'm, I'm a huge supporter of, supporter of uh, To Write Love on Her Arms. Um, it's, a, it's a great foundation, I know. Um, Joel from Get Scared, he's a pretty big supporter of it as well. Um, he's a pretty big supporter. We talked back and forth about that, actually. Um, you could reach out to him as well. He... Uh, he responds to Facebook messages quite frequently. Um, I can send pictures, actually, of, of him and I talking about that. Um, he's, he's really good. He's a really, really good guy, a really good supporter of that. Um, so you could reach out to him as well. Anyways, um, so yeah, if, if you don't have my Facebook or um, my number and you would like that, um, it, it, the link to my Facebook probably won't be in this video until a couple days um, after I post it, but other videos will have it, and you can message me on there um, and get my number if you want, you know, whatever it happens to be, but I really do. I invite each and every one of you to reach out to me. Um, I will never judge. I will never reveal names, and I will do everything in my power to help you, and that's my promise to you, so... Yeah, anyways, um, thank you very much for watching this video. For those of you that actually stayed through all of it, um, I hope I hope I talked to, to somebody and reached out to somebody. Um, I know it's an emotional topic, but anyways, thank you. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll see you guys next time.